hello team and welcome back to the channel so before we start i would request you subscribe to the channel if you haven't already you will find tons of amazing hands-on videos on devops as well as on cloud devops and everything that you will find here it will be completely real-time scenarios since as you know i work in an mnc company and i handle more than 30 projects so i get really good experience in real-time environments which i try to share with you so that you can also learn how things happen in companies from real real-time scenarios right now coming to today's topic so as you know in morning i pasted something in community uh, which was about like i asked you guys if you wanted to know more about like how virtual machines or websites get secured basically how companies make sure that the virtual machines or websites are accessible within other company network or only the employees that are part of that project or company can access the application or the virtual machine so that's what we are going to discuss today in detail so make sure to watch this video till end so that you don't miss out any points if you face any doubts if, if you are any if you are curious about anything else you can just ping me directly in the telegram also there is a completely doubt clearing group we are having more than uh, 6500 members who can help you okay so make sure to join the telegram channel as well the links of everything will be in, des in the description now now let let's start by understanding everything uh, okay so <clears throat> two things we are going to understand today first of all we are going to understand today how companies make sure that the vm is accessible within the company network second uh, any websites or any web applications that uh, company has that is an internal that also how is it accessible within the company network these two things these two things we are going to discuss about okay so the things uh, that we need to know before we get started first of all we should be understanding about uh, VPN company VPN I'm talking about the VPN that is being uh, used in companies that and also we are going to understand about firewalls okay and once we know these two things then I can easily explain you how these uh, like access security is done okay so let us start by understanding what exactly is a firewall okay so firewall is a way in which we set up things so that uh, we decide like how access to the virtual machine or any, any other resource will be done for example let's say i created a virtual machine okay and i want the, uh, the the scenario is that i want this virtual machine should be accessible from my uh, personal laptop only okay so how do i do that so you know generally what happens uh, two things we need to set up while creating a uh, virtual machine which is firewall inside firewall we are going to have two components okay one is known as inbound rules second is role known as outbound rules okay and let me explain you about both of them first let's talk about inbound rules so in inbound rules we decide okay, from outside uh, to virtual machine access like from outside virtual machine access how it will be done so inside this we need to define certain things first we define ports okay ports for example let's say i want my uh, virtual machine to be accessible on specific point okay on port 22 this that specific point is known as ports so let's say i want to open a port on my virtual machine 22 which is for ssh so that ssh connection can be established to my virtual machine then i'll open the port 22 let's say i am deploying an application on port 8080 and if I want to access that application, then I need to go to the port 8080. That means port 8080 should be open. Okay. So first is like we define ports or specific points on the virtual machine on which access can be done. Okay. Secondly, we define source. In source, basically we define from where the access is done. Okay. For where access is done. For example, as I mentioned, I have a requirement that I want. I should be able to access the uh, virtual machine from my personal laptop only. So in source, I will write my personal IP address. Okay. If I write my personal IP address, then these two things will make sure that the access to virtual machine will be done only from my personal laptop and only on these two points on port 22 and port 8080. So access from outside to virtual machine that is inbound rules okay and you can see we have configured that access should be only from my personal laptop okay because we are adding in source the ip address of my personal laptop and on specific points which is port 22 and port 8080 
that is inbound rules talking about outbound rules okay so in outbound rules basically uh, we set up uh, rules which will define key from virtual machine to outside where the access is done okay how the access is defined so in generally in outbound rules we open all traffic all traffic means that from our virtual machine virtual machine can access anything that is in internet that is publicly available now your question would be okay why we need to open all traffic from uh, our virtual machine this is because from our virtual machine sometimes we install some package we download some files okay from internet so in order to make sure that those uh, files can be downloaded or some packages can be uh, like upgraded for that connection from virtual machine to the internet should be allowed so for that we enable all traffic so that from our virtual machine virtual machine can access anything that is publicly available outside okay so these two things are the firewall combine these two things are firewall where we set up uh, rules uh, uh, because of like due to which the access to the virtual machine and access from the virtual machine is defined right from inbound rules you can see that i have defined key access to the virtual machine should be done only from uh, my personal laptop right now to show you uh, in real time how these things work let me show you so if i go here aws let me open okay so this is my aws uh, page okay if i go to ec2 dashboard and there is a section known as security group which is also a uh, firewall only okay so let's say i want to create new security group and let me show you how we define so two things you will be able to see one is the inbound rules and second is outbound rules in outbound rules by default you can see it is set up all traffic automatically that means key from our virtual machine access to outside internet is like allowed everywhere okay secondly talking about inbound rules if i click on add rule let's say i want the access to be allowed only on specific point on the virtual machine which is port 22 okay second section we have it is source as I defined in source, we defined key from where the access should be allowed. Generally on YouTube, you might have seen everyone should be opening this. Now this is a specific range that denotes from outside, uh, like from the internet, from every IP address, you can access the virtual machine if you have the private key and if you know which port is open. Okay. So from like every, all the IP addresses, it is allowed. But let's say I want to make sure key access should be allowed only from my personal laptop in that case we can click on my ip and it will automatically detect my uh, like uh, uh, ip address of my personal laptop and it will put it here now this means that from a single ip address access to the virtual machine is allowed okay now one question will be coming to you in companies if i put one single ip address then obviously there are multiple people like multiple employees how they cannot have the same ip address right uh, okay so for that for that we have the vpn which i am going to explain but till here i i hope everyone is clear like if i want to make sure ki if i want to make that uh, access to a virtual machine should be allowed only through a specific ip address or through my pub, uh, like personal laptop then this is what we can do we can define that in the source okay now see it's this these two things you see in bound rules outbound rules they will be everywhere that it does not matter from where you are creating virtual machine even if you are creating in azure there also you can define these things okay now so let me explain you how exactly a vpn works and how exactly we make sure that all the employees of the uh, like a company can make sure that they have the access and no other person have access to a virtual machine let me explain you that as well okay so uh, let's talk about the company VPN okay so in company VPN uh, before we jump into that we should be knowing there is a, a specific concept that is known as private endpoints now what exactly they are so they are nothing but some private IP addresses okay so basically what happened in companies when we create a vpn so vpn is basically an application inside which we add multiple ip address multiple private endpoints for example this is ip address 1 this is ip address 2 this is ip address 3 this is ip address 4 okay so this is a vpn which contains multiple private endpoints so multiple ip addresses added inside them okay 
now how exactly this vpn is going to help us to make sure that we are able to access our uh, any virtual machine okay so let me explain you that as well so let's say this is ip1 right so while creating a virtual machine instead of uh, in in here i will write the ip address of whatever see uh, whatever ip address we have right single ip address i will write here that will make sure key the virtual machine that we are going to create that will be accessible only if the request is coming from this specific ip address if the request to access the virtual machine is coming from this ip address then only this virtual machine will be accessible okay so what do we do so what uh, we do basically let's say we create uh, let's let's create two vms okay this vm uh, this will be vm1 and which uh, in the source of this vm we have mentioned ip1 that means uh, this vm will be accessible only from ip address 1 and this is my second vm vm2 and here we have defined it should be accessible only from ip3 okay and this is let's say these are laptops uh, employee laptops this will be personal laptop 1 this will be personal laptop 2 this will be personal laptop 3 these are employee laptops okay so using user credentials this is a company uh, application uh, employees will connect to this vpn okay once they are connect to this vpn and then they request the access to this virtual machine then the request is not going from here if like request is not going from here because if request if if employees using their personal laptop if they without connecting to this uh, vpn if they send request directly to the virtual machine it won't allow because the request is coming on the ip address of this personal laptop right and that is not in the source so access won't be allowed but if the employee has connected to the virtual machine and then uh, like send the request to virtual machine uh sorry uh, if the employee has connected to the vpn and then sent request to the virtual machine the request is going from these ip private endpoints so for vm1 automatically it will go from ip address ip uh, ip address 1 and then vm uh, sees okay the request is coming from the source correct source then access will be allowed similarly if let's say if uh, like someone wants to access virtual machine 2 and they are connected to this uh, vpn then again if they send request to access this then again access will be coming from these ip addresses okay these ip addresses which ever is defined like here we can define ip address 3 so automatically from this vpn it will on vm2 will see okay request is coming from ip address 3 which is allowed similar kind of thing happens with websites if any website is there within company network so to in order to make sure that that is accessible within the company network what we do in the source like uh, we set up a firewall or we set up a private endpoint and we define ki okay this website should be accessible from a specific private endpoint so if any employee want to access this website they are going to connect to vpn first then they are going to send request then when they send request then request will be coming from this here this private endpoint and if this is coming from this private endpoint then access is allowed okay so we if and if you try to access the website directly it won't allow because it will see ki the access is coming from the ip address of this personal laptop which is not added in the source correct so if we add the uh, this uh, this private endpoint that you see here these will be added here in the inbound rules in the source section we are going to add these private ip addresses or private endpoints you can say so if the request uh, if an employee want to request uh, like access the virtual machine or the website so they are going to connect to vpn first and then they are going to uh, like send for the request then when connected through vpn the request will be sent from vpn instead of directly from the personal laptop and this is how in companies the access to virtual machines or website is done securely okay so i hope this is very much clear for everyone how vpn works what exactly is inside the vpn and you know uh, these vpn that you see we can call them multiple things like for example we can call them like private endpoints we can also ca call them like uh, let's say a bound server these are certain terms that different companies use okay so these uh, they, they can be called these kind of words okay so i hope this is very much clear uh, how access is done okay 
and real time you can see from here itself like how we can define the inbound rules and outbound rules okay i hope this video was really useful to you and uh, if you if you found this useful make sure to comment something uh, uh, in the comment section and you can even comment some next topic which you want me to make a video on okay so yeah thanks for watching team and have a nice day